Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Leonard Lauder, and it's my honor to serve as the chairman of the Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation. Thank you. I just looked at the ticket price. I realized it's a little cheaper for you than it was for me this week. <laughs> but it's uh, an honor to have you here and um, to support this great organization and to support health in America and in the world. Uh, first, I want to thank our, our really, our lovely, lovely uh, Elise and Mark Lefkowitz uh, for, uh, for their chairmanship. Elise, can I ask you to stand up, please? And sitting to her right is Ron Fresh, who is the, who is the president of Saks Fifth Avenue, Ron, if you could just say hello to everyone. Thank you uh, for your underwriting of this and for hosting this. Uh, we're looking forward to the fashion show a little bit later. And to Jason Wu, the great designer, who you're going to see a little bit more of later. But to Jason, I thank you very much, Jason, for all that. And Omega Capital for their underwriting, which is, thank you very much. Where are you? Wherever they are, thank you very, very much. And Sharon Percy Rockefeller for being with, with us, uh, for joining us on this wonderful, very uh, great occasion. But by the way, the food is on the way, on the way for those to my right, and for those to my left, the food is on the table. I come from a family where if there's food in front of you and you're not eating, we all feel very threatened. <laughs> so I invite you to eat, it would, uh, because it's going to be wonderful, and the caterers have worked very, very hard in preparing a wonderful luncheon for you. Uh, I've made this my personal initiative and personal project to see to it that Alzheimer's is prevented and cured in this nation. You read all the time in the paper about people putting 200 million into this or 300 million into that basic research. But there is a gap, and the gap is basic research is here, drugs are way over there. We are the ones who organize and put all of our efforts and money into moving things from basic research into real drugs and drug discovery. And uh, we are a unique organization in this nation and in this world. So your support means a great deal for us. So there is hope. Because people say, I don't want to know. There is hope. You can prevent it and you can. We will be able to cure it very, very soon. Hope is on the horizon thanks to your help and to your support. Now, I... Uh, it is my honor also to introduce Barbara Harrison, who's an award-winning news anchor and reporter for NBC and NBC4. Uh, she produces and, and, and reports uh, on the nationally acclaimed Washington's Child Show. She is a remarkable woman. Her dedication to the children of this nation and indeed of this world are renowned. She's a Washingtonian, and I know that you will, will love meeting her and love hearing her, and she will be our MC for, for today. So would you please join me in welcoming Barbara Harrison. gets to where he can hear this. Leonard, I think he's coming out. He hears me. I just want to thank him for that wonderful introduction. They have Wednesday's Child in New York now, too. We started it right here in Washington, D.C. some 25 years ago. But Leonard, I want you to hear this, because I want you to notice this. I want you, there he is. Don't you think it's really great, incidentally, to all of you that we have Leonard Lauder here with us today in Washington? And Leonard, you should 
you know that Washington doesn't always dress up in such finery when a visitor comes to town. You, of course, are one of the world's greatest arbiters of beauty and perfection. I hope that you've noticed that we are resplendent for your visit with our finest pinks and purples and yellows and lavenders. And have you noticed that we put on our finest spring colors just for you? And I'm not talking about the beautiful ladies here at this lunch. Have you seen our cherry blossoms, our tulips, and our forsythia? What a profusion of beauty we have to welcome you to Washington, all blooming at the same time. And of course, everybody here today looks very beautiful, too. Leonard, we are truly happy to have you in Washington. Many of those here today are old friends of yours, and there are some like me who know you through the wonderful things that we've heard and read about you. You've been called a Renaissance man for your stunning knowledge of so many subjects. You're known for being very successful as a businessman who is not an elitist. You even take cabs, we understand. And you are perhaps best known for your amazingly generous philanthropy. Just yesterday, that philanthropy was the subject of the front page above the fold story in the New York Times. And in case any of you missed it, Leonard Lauder is giving the finest Cubist art collection worth over a billion dollars, finest in the world as a gift to New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. I read that we almost got that collection here, that he was considering donating it to the National Gallery here in Washington, but on second thought, he decided he'd better give it to the people of New York. After all, he has to live with them. And you don't want to get on the wrong side of New Yorkers if you're on the outs. Imagine how hard it would be to get a cab there. They just zoom right past you. Again, thank you, Leonard, for this uh, honor of, of being here among so many of my friends and people who watch our news on Channel 4. Good afternoon, everyone. We're delighted to welcome you to the Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation's third annual Great Ladies Luncheon and Fashion Show. I'd like to begin by thanking the Estee Lauder companies for their generous sponsorship of this wonderful event. Saks Fifth Avenue, which is in, really resplendent if you haven't been inside, it's just beautiful in there now. Jason Wu is here, Elise and Mark Lefkowitz, we thank you too for your generosity and Omega Capital. Thanks to all of you who are here supporting the Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation. As Leonard said, the singular focus of the ADDF is to accentuate the discovery of drugs to prevent, treat, and cure Alzheimer's disease and to get new drugs on the market and in the hands of patients as quickly as possible. All of the organization's overhead and administrative costs are covered by the Lauder family. So 100% of your donation actually goes to ADDF. Every dollar raised today goes directly to Alzheimer's drug research and related programs. The ADDF funds as seed money cutting-edge Alzheimer's drug research all over the world. To date, the ADDF has invested more than $60 million in drug research projects in 18 countries. Thanks to these and other public and private efforts, there are now hundreds of new, potentially disease-modifying drugs for Alzheimer's in development. Today, thanks to the generous friends like you, there is hope on the horizon. I want to read some of these statistics, and please don't feel like you have to stop. Enjoy your meal. I'll just keep going. About 5.4 million people right now have Alzheimer's here in the U.S. 5.4. It's hard to not know someone in this country that isn't experiencing it, and if they don't have it themselves, someone in their family does. Every 68 seconds, someone in the U.S. develops Alzheimer's. One in three people over the age of 80 will develop Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. In 2013, Alzheimer's will cost the U.S. economy $200 billion with a B dollars. You should know that there are no drugs available today that can prevent or even slow the course of this disease. Alzheimer's is an awful, progressive, uniform, uniformly fatal disease. It is a disease of the brain that is paid for in the currency of the heart. Alzheimer's is a silent thief, silent because it can be at work for a decade or more before any symptoms become evident. Stealing the past, erasing successes or failures. 
that erases the lessons that we've learned with time, the tapestry of experience that defines who we are. Alzheimer's robs us of our identity, our futures, and it worst our dignity. And I know firsthand about that because I lost my brother last year to early onset Alzheimer's, a brilliant young man. I think he's young, he was. A partner at Goldman Sachs. It's hard for me to talk about it because it's so hard for me to believe that he's gone. But he dealt with that disease valiantly until he wasn't even sure what it was, who he was, and then we watched him die silently. So I remember him today, and it was one of the reasons that I made sure that I could be here with you today to talk about this disease. We are the generation that can proactively invest in making ourselves maybe, just maybe, the first generation who could take a drug that would prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's. And maybe, just maybe, if we invest enough, fast enough, our children will not have to spend their savings, their emotional and financial savings, taking care of us. We represent hope here today, and we need to tackle this together. Today we're thrilled to be honoring Sharon Percy Rockefeller, a beloved great lady who has done so much for this city as a leader and policymaker. And I'm happy to call her a friend of mine. We're also delighted that after lunch, Ron French from Saks Fifth Avenue will introduce Jason Wu's spectacular fall 2013 collection in a stunning runway show. After the luncheon program concludes, you'll have an opportunity to shop at the looks that you'll be seeing. They will be inside the store, and 10% of the proceeds will go to ADDF. Before we get started, a few announcements. We're holding today both a silent auction and a door prize drawing. The silent auction at the tent entryway features three fabulous vacation packages. You can bid on these until 2.15. Please bid generously if you want to fund drug research and get a fantastic vacation at the same time. We also have a fabulous array of door prizes that you'll want to win. If you'd like to be eligible to win a door prize, here's how you have to do it. Please pick up the donation envelope and pen at your place setting. Look at your place setting right now and you'll see it. You can even do it while I'm talking. It's all right with me. I will just keep on going. If you make a donation of any amount, small or large, you'll be entered in the drawing. Staff will come to your table to collect the envelopes as soon as they are done, or uh, we are done with our speeches, and before Jason Bo's beautiful fashion show begins. There will be a little lip break while we have dessert. Before the show begins, your envelopes will be collected then, and the winner's name will be drawn and announced right after the fashion show. Right now, I'd like to introduce one of the door prizes, and we have a very special guest who is going to bring that door prize down the aisle for us. Linda Carter has agreed to uh, bring out this wonderful door prize. Look at that cute little puppy. One lucky guest will go home today with this adorable Shih Tzu puppy. He's 16 weeks old and will be about four and a half pounds when he's fully grown, so you can stick him in your purse and carry him anywhere. If you'd like to be in the running for this adorable little puppy, be sure to put a puppy paw sticker on the outside of your donation envelope after you've written your information. And those little puppy paw stickers are on the table. Have you found them? You found your puppy paw sticker? What a cutie. Uh, Linda, I think you should have that puppy. Also, the orchids, the beautiful orchids on the table. I'm sure that you've noticed them. They're beautiful. They're donated by Amaryllis Flowers. For a donation of just $75, these beautiful orchids can go home with one person at each table. $75 donation for that. Please fill out the labeled envelope next to each centerpiece to make your donation and claim your orchid. So you can fight over that because there's just one at each table. 
you could make the $75 donation anyway. I'm now delighted to introduce you to one of America's most talented and glamorous furniture and textile designers, Nancy Corzine. Nancy has been president of the ADDF's Board of Governors since 2005 and is one of the nation's strongest advocates for finding a cure. Please welcome Nancy Corzine. Thank you for coming. We're going to have this great fashion show and have a good time. And Barbara, thank you for that nice introduction. We all know that Leonard is the greatest lipstick salesman in the world. However, he's awfully great at something else. He's given all of us the opportunity to follow him in his journey to find a cure for Alzheimer's. And I dare say, Leonard, that will be one of your greatest achievements. I also have the privilege of introducing ADDF's third annual Great Ladies Luncheon Award, which we are very proud to give to Mrs. Sharon Percy Rockefeller. Mrs. Rockefeller is one of Washington, D.C.'s great ladies, president and CEO of WETA, Washington's flagship public television and radio stations. She has served the public broadcasting community for over 25 years and is a leader and a policymaker. A graduate of Stanford University, Mrs. Rockefeller is an active member and other areas including education, fine arts, government, and women's issues. Her many honors include the Charles Finkel Prize by the National Endowment for Humanities, the Distinguished Broadcaster Award, the Women of Vision Award from Women in Film and Video, and she was named Washingtonian of the Year by the Washingtonian Magazine. Her personal connection to Alzheimer's is the same as mine, and I'm sure many of you here. Her father, Charles Percy, died of the disease in 2011. Please join me in honoring Mrs. Rockefeller, a longtime advocate for women, the elderly, and a quintessential great lady. Thank you. supported his own family from a very young age. A crusader on hundreds of issues, he was a dynamo who was usually the quickest, most energetic, and enterprising man in the room. When he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, our family spent his last decade 
trying to protect him, a very people-oriented person and gregarious, we tried to protect him from the descending and inevitable isolation. My husband's mother, Blanchette, whom Leonard knew very well, also had suffered from and died from Alzheimer's. So to the extent that anyone can understand what's happening here, we knew where it was going. It was going to sadness, tragedy, loss, and every other bad thing. My father's kind and generous nature was, was, uh, I'm sorry, but we strived to keep him what he had been before to the extent we could, and that wasn't a lot. His nature was muted, but he kept his integrity and his dignity intact. My mother, siblings, and I showed him the love, devotion, and gratitude he had always expressed to us. His friends, John O'Connor, the husband of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, who's your honorary chair, and also Sergeant Shriver, both of whom had advanced Alzheimer's, enjoyed being in a men's singing group trying to retrieve a few of their childhood favorites. I deeply regretted that my grandchildren would never remember my father just as he was. However, I knew I could tell his story in my own way. So I could speak out and add my voice to the Alzheimer's movement. Now I see not just one individual journey, but our collective stories and new knowledge and understanding. We all share a powerful resolve. We know that we are a little closer to more effective treatments and better research. So I'm honored, Leonard, thank you very much to accept this award and join you in supporting breakthrough research through the Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation. Thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Congratulations, and thank you for all your great work, Sharon. We all love you here. We're going to take a brief break in the program while you uh, have your entrees cleared from the table and dessert will be served. In 15 minutes, the fashion show will begin, so this is your last chance to look at the prizes and fill out your door prize envelopes. Please turn these into the staff members who will be circulating to get them. Also, make sure you get it on the uh, great silent auction vacations. And don't forget that great puppy. Relax, enjoy, and get ready for a fantastic fashion show that will begin in about 15 minutes. Thank you. Four years ago, a very determined woman knocked on my door and said, I want to do an event in memory of my mother. And uh, at least started that, and um, it's been a great three years so far, and we look forward to many more years. And thank Elise and Mark for all their efforts. Um, I'm very excited to introduce the show today. Uh, Jason Wu had a breakout show in New York doing New York Fashion Week, uh, really kicking off the week and uh, giving us all such an amazing um, uh, experience and event. He's developed as a designer, as most of you know, to a wonderful degree over the past few years. And those of you in Washington obviously know who he is. So I'm very excited to bring him here to, to share his beautiful designs with you today. Uh, just one last thing is, uh, this is the 50th celebration of Santa Catherine and Chevy Chase. Uh, we welcome, uh, thank you all for your supporting us over the years and look forward to many more years. So I would like to introduce Jason Wu for fall 2014.
you are a genius. It was the clothes were just magnificent. And thank you to Saks and SD Lauder for making all this possible. And thank you all for coming and and the sellout crowd. It's, it's a first for us. Um, I'm so happy to see so many familiar and so many new faces in the audience. This is the biggest luncheon that we've had. This is our third year. The first year was only, I think, almost 250 people. Last year was about 350 people, and we're over 400 people this year, so I'm really excited. urgently needed funds for the ADDF and to honor and remember my mother Estelle Gilman. When she was president of the American Cancer Society, my mom liked to throw glamorous fashion luncheons and she would have really loved this one. But for all the glamour of this day, I hope you leave this tent having learned something new about Alzheimer's drug discovery. As Leonard said, there is hope in drug discovery. And I hope together we will find a cure that will be that will be a gift my mother would like to have given to her grandchildren and yours. I will now turn it over to Barbara, who will announce the winners of the door prize drawing. Win or lose, make sure you bid on our fabulous silent auction prizes. Good luck. Love at First Sight, the Shih Tzu Puppy, goes to Renee Tucker. Oscar Heyman American Flag Brooch goes to Jamie Doros. Jamie Doros, congratulations. The accessories for a great lady, Marie Royce, you won that. Congratulations. Treat yourself to Joe Malone goes to Julie Schulman. Schulman, Julie. Congratulations, Julie. Night out with the National Archives, or yes, night out with the National Archives. Cindy Jones. Cindy, congratulations. Brighten up. Vida Pagnani. Vida Pagnani. Ida, congratulations. Bed and breakfast at a Mandarin Oriental. Melissa Le, uh, Les, Les, Elias Emias. Congratulations, Melissa. Uh, cozy up at home. Kristen Lund. Cozy up at home. Palm Beach Getaway. Alisa Halley. Accessorize with D. Modolo, Adele Buckets. Congratulations, Adele. Lost your glow? Diane Baker, you just found it. Staycation in our nation's capital. Debbie Forrest is the winner of that. Bring Italy home goes to Kathy Connolly. Step out with the Signature Theater, Margaret Bateman, you won that. Fun with the kids, Sherry Doggett. Fun with the kids, congratulations. Sweating and sipping with friends, Martha Schweitzer. Martha, congratulations. That's you. Thanks everyone for attending, uh, and uh, thanks to Jason Wu for that beautiful fashion show. But it's remind you that you can shop inside, purchase the looks that you've just seen on the runway. Ten percent of the proceeds goes to ADDF, and remind you the silent auction is still open, and you can uh, bid on the silent auction on items uh, until uh, two thirty. Elise, where are you again? Thank you so much for creating and also for paying for this incredible event today. I hope you all enjoyed that exquisite show. Yes, let's give Elise a big round of applause. It's a wonderful, wonderful show and afternoon.
I hope you all enjoyed the exquisite show. Remember to shop at Jason Rose Boutique, as we just said, and a percentage of the proceeds will go to the foundation. Again, okay, we thank you all for coming. The Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation luncheon. Congratulations again to Sharon Percy Rockefeller. Don't forget that the silent auction is open until 2.15. Remember to pick up your gift bag as you leave. And turn on NBC4 at 4 o'clock. I'll be anchoring that show in just a few hours. Bye-bye.